Hello and welcome to the Davis Locker with me, Chris Davis, and the king of the con, <laughs> Gaza D. We are here at Wales Comic Con 2019 and we're super excited. I'm going to give a bit of an overview about what cosplay is, what attracts people to the Comic Cons, and basically why, why they do what they do. We'll also find out a few of the burning questions, oh. such as what's your favourite Christmas movie? It's December after all, Gaz. Exactly, and also the perennial the most important question is Brexit nearly more general election no way more important than that is Die Hard a Christmas film let's find out the answer on everyone's lips welcome to the Davis Locker so what what kind of got you into doing it in the first place fellas um Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to do it. So yeah. you go to the school, you go to the Mufti days, you're the yeah, one that always yeah, wears yeah. the superhero t-shirt yeah. and you look down, it's not cool. And you know, just one of the days I just searched Comic Con and there yeah, happened yeah. to be one in Birmingham. Yeah. Uh, I went there, you know, it was a terrible outfit, but I just <laughs> went there um, and it was just amazing. Yeah. And that was about six years ago, wow. never looked back. And as I've gone out through the years, met people like Steve, yeah. became amazing friends and upgraded yeah. the costumes as they go along, they so... Look, they look mega. Yeah. 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 Mine was uh, only about just over three and a half years ago. Yeah. I uh, went to, actually it was Wales Con, because it, uh, it's not far from where I live, when the, the other venue. Yeah. Uh, and I went as Wolverine, yeah. and I had clippers and a t-shirt and I took and another jacket in the car because I thought if I go in there no one's in costume I'm just going to shave me yeah, yeah. and go and do the rest of it all and then I got and I was like dead nervous and it's like there's no one dressed up there's no one dressed up yeah. I got to a certain point and I saw a few people like we love you Wolverine had a few pictures and I've not looked back since then I've loved it's, it ever since it, it honestly is I don't know about for you that first time someone asked you for a picture yeah. wow it's yeah. so addictive you kind of do the me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's amazing. Like, and then, okay, great. <laughs> what kind of draws you to the cosplay community? Um, my friend got me into it originally, um, and then since that first con, I've just been hooked. It's the community, um, and it's meeting loads of new people, um, and just getting out there and meeting fellow nerds, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, same. Uh, everyone's just lovely in the cosplay community. You like anyone you go up to and you can just have a chat with everyone and you meet so many new new faces now and that's how i met my partner here claire what are you thinking of the con so far it's been amazing yeah it's brilliant to see everyone it's amazing to be in the company of my nerd family um, and to meet people that i love who tell stories that i love yeah so yeah perfect weekend i just love comic con in general i love it when people express their freedom through cosplay i love seeing all these great celebrities and artists and people in the industry here I love the freedom that we have just to be ourselves. The main reason we've come is to meet the Power Ranger guests, obviously big fans. Uh, we met Paul and Jason before, lovely guys, and uh, we met Steve Cadenas as well. Right, I'm here with Ant, who is the god of war. Mate, you look fantastic. Oh, thank you, man. Cheers. It's Appreciate it. freezing outside, you must be mad. Uh, it's warm in here though, so it's it all good. Like, it, it works out well. Yeah. Sorry. So, tell us more about the costume. Well, is it a costume? It's sort of half a costume. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a costume. <laughs> I mean, like, I made it all myself. It's mostly all like EVA foam, yeah. like, the belts are all foam and everything. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so it, it looks incredible, mate. Why, why, uh, why Kratos then? Because I'm bored and I've got a beard and it kind of works. <laughs> <laughs> It's been absolutely brilliant all weekend. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Great yeah. organisation, great layout, amazing guests yeah. all around. R really good. I'd, yeah, I'd definitely it's, it's be back. I'm here with Scott, aka the Son of God, the big man himself. Jesus. Oh there. Now you got a birthday coming up. Any big plans? Drinking. Drinking. Bit of wine maybe. Yeah. With cool. the boys. Yeah. Not <laughs> Judas though. <laughs> no, he's, he's been quiet this time of year, isn't he? Oh, I don't talk to him much these days. <laughs> I'm here with Ian, AKA Aquaman. I feel like I should be stood on something because I feel distinctly small. <laughs> We're just asking everyone, uh, what are you taking from the con? Um, well, it's, this is only my second time doing this um, as dressed up as Aquaman. Um, I've kind of been urged by a few friends to do uh, the Jason Momoa lookalike thing. Um, I've looked like this forever. Yeah. And I had the Mickey took out of me for the last sort of 18 months, 12, <laughs> well, 24 months really. Since Justice League came out, all the comments started. People saying, you know, oh, you should start being a lookalike. Didn't take it too seriously, just left it. And then uh, we've been coming to the cons for about 
seven or eight years, uh, Birmingham, London, Telford. Always enjoyed it. How did you get into cosplay? How did you start? Um, I've always been like a massive kind of like fan of dressing up and just having fun. Yeah. Really into like geek culture. So when I found cosplay about six years ago, I was like, it's perfect. Yeah. And what do you love about the con? I mean, for me, I love the inclusiveness of it. And like we were talking to some of your friends, you chance to you get to be someone else for a bit. Yeah. Is that what appeals to you? And I just love kind of like meeting my friends. So yeah. kind of through cosplay and cons, I've made friends all over the country. And so it's really nice to like meet up with them and kind of see each other. And we only see each other like every like two, twice in two, like a year. And it just makes it really wonderful. Cool. Guys, what are you thinking of the show so far? Yeah, so far pretty good. You know, Wales always do a good Comic Con, but uh, we're not in Wales anymore. We're not in Wales anymore. It's my back garden. I'm from Wrexham. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's our back garden. But uh, Becca, what are you saying? It's very different, but I, I think I like it. It's yeah. very much more similar to like the likes of MCM and LFCC, but it's good, yeah, yeah, it's more space. I'm here with the Lord of the Nazgul himself, the Witch King of Angmar. Now, Witch King, tell me, how's the con going for you, my friend? <laughs> okay, I'm here with Shadow Trooper, number? I'm PX122284. How are you enjoying the con? Yeah, it's not too bad. There's a few Jedi around, a few rebels, sort them out, arrest them. Yeah. Any trouble? Uh, not much. We got a detention cell over there, so we got a few, a few rogues in there. Yeah. Some of these good guys, these Jedi, think they're a bit holier than thou, really, don't they? Oh, uh, they all do. They, we're used to it. Yeah. We're the good guys, really. We, we keep the peace. We look after it. We're keeping this place safe. You look the best. We are the best. I'm here with uh, Jemima. She's here to tell us about the motorbike. Jemima, what kind of bike is it? Excellent. Right, uh, what do you like about the cons, Jemima? Yeah. Wonderful, thanks for the insight, cheers. Hi, I'm here with Blakey. What are you doing at the Comic Con today? Basically, I'm the Cupcake Man. I'm the creator of the alchemy of the Cupcake World. We do fudges, brownies, we do marshmallows dipped in Belgian chocolate. Basically, I'm the giver of diabetes. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, we've got a lot of experience in eating this type of thing. What would be your best seller at a con? Probably the uh, cupcakes always go very, very quickly. Our brownie is all sold out. This is what you see now. We sold over the weekend nearly two and a half thousand cupcakes. Um, brownie wise, probably close to nearly 2,000 brownies. But yeah, my favorite the unicorn poo. It's a bubblegum cake with a candy floss scent of bubblegum frosting. It's literally, as I say, it's, uh, I like to call it crack for the fat kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm here with Solly from SM Artworks. Some fantastic stuff on display here, Thank mate. Thank you. Uh, how's the con going for you? It's been absolutely fantastic. Very busy, very yeah. busy, yes. So tell us a bit more about the business yeah, and what, you, what uh, you're offering. It's my, um, it's my artwork. I've painted them. Uh, they're all limited edition prints <coughs> uh, on canvas and aluminium and standard prints. And I hand paint them all and do limited prints and have been for I've uh, been painting for 23 years now and I've been doing Comic Cons for 18. Wow. Yes. A veteran. Uh, yeah, yes, a veteran. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very much of a veteran, yeah. <laughs> Nikki, we're on your stall. We're you loving are. the produce. Fantastic. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Tell most most people do. All my product is handmade in the UK. Why the cons then? Why why do you sell the goods at the cons? Oh, what? Well, you've got all these crazy people that love to dress up, <laughs> so why not? It's the best place to be. <laughs> I'm here with Liam Shaw from Liam Shaw Illustration. Hello. Tell us, mate, tell us about the artwork. I mean, incredibly impressive. Why come to the cons? How long have you been coming? Uh, well, I started coming to the cons about six or seven years ago now. So basically, I just started doing it because I love drawing and it's just changed so much from yeah. going from like Star Wars to other fan art and then now I'm de developing into like drag queens. Wow. So it's kind of like changing the old plan really of like yeah. just wouldn't work and but I just love meeting the people and just chatting away to people yeah. and it's good atmosphere as well. I'm here with Steve from Zabala. Steve, incredible products. I've just had one on myself. Probably the most popular man in the world right now, the Mandalorian. Uh, tell us about the products. People buy them for different reasons. They either um, display them on a shelf, you know, as I do too, or I get a lot of people who cosplay. So they use them as parts, for instance, you know, the Boba's quite a good one because you fill the dent in and he's a Mando, isn't he? So people paint them in lots of different colours and things. Tell us more about why you're here, what it is you do, let okay. people know. Um, well, I'm an artist. Um, I 
specifically like specialised in like fan art from like anime, games. You've obviously got so much fantastic work, it's probably hard to decide yeah. which to do, what to bring. Know, You're probably yeah. doing it the night before. Yeah, like trying to figure out exactly what things might like go well. So you've got to like select all the right stuff and be like, right, is this going to sell or is this not? So yeah, it's kind of stressful in that area, but it's really fun, like it's worth it. Santa Claus the movie, that's the, I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best, but it's one that I a lot of sentimental value to me because it's one of my oldest, one of the first ones I saw. Love actually. Nativity. Probably Elf. Yeah, good yeah. one. Elf, yeah. definitely. Elf. Gremlins. Gremlins. Uh, Grinch. Grinch is a great one. Elf. Oh, it's silly, but it's Jingle all the way. Gotta be Elf. I really like um, the Polar Express oh. and Love Actually. What's the best Christmas film, guys? Come on. Grinch. Grinch. <laughs> Elf. Elf. Die hard. Die hard. Die hard. Die hard. Die hard. Die hard. I mean, it's got to be die hard, isn't it? Die hard. It's got to be die hard, isn't it? For anybody out there who doesn't think Die Hard's a good Christmas movie, it is. It's the best Christmas movie. Down the pipe, lads. Tell them. Tell them straight. Die, die hard, hard is a Christmas, Christmas film. film. Die Hard is a Christmas film. It's obviously a Christmas movie. There's no debate. Yeah. Set at Christmas, the guy is trying to get home to his family for Christmas. Yeah. What more can you need? What more proof do you need? Die Hard is a Christmas film. If you don't think it is, you don't deserve. You know what I mean? No Father Christmas. Krampus is going to come and kick your ass. <laughs> it's a Christmas movie. <laughs> Wouldn't be Christmas Day without Die Hard, would it? Is Die Hard a Christmas film? What does the big man say? I'll watch it on Christmas. Why not? Bruce Willis, I hope you're listening, Mush. Die Hard is a f***ing Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> We'll beep that. Gah, the end of the con. What yeah. do you think, my friend? Long day, but very enjoyable day. I thought yeah. some of the uh, some of the cosplayers that we saw, unbelievable dedication and unbelievable outfits. Yeah, incredible. I mean, the level of detail in some of them, the depth and the hours of the work they go yeah. into them. Really incredible, isn't it? And some great opinions about like the positive nature of cosplaying and what the Comic Con kind of means to people. It's just been so good, isn't it? Yeah, I really loved it. And Die Hard obviously is a Christmas film. I think everyone said yeah, except for one person. Did you, Jesus said yes, didn't he? Well, yeah, he did say. <laughs> but if, if Jesus, Aquaman, a shadow trooper, if they're saying Die Hard's a Christmas film, I think it's pretty unanimous, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it has to be. So there you go, you heard it here. It definitely is. No more arguments. We don't want people in the group saying, no, it's not because of this and this and this. It is. Sorry to waste your time. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you've never been to a Comic-Con, Please try one, any of them, the small ones to the big ones. They're all brilliant, full of great people doing something just inspiring in many ways and really, really positive. So if you've never done one, go and do one and see what the vibe is. It's great, isn't it? It really is, yeah. Thoroughly great day out for all the family. So much to see, so much to do. Yeah, I, I've loved it. So there you go. We'll see you soon. Take care.